You got a problem with that? <laughs> but in this book, Heroes with Divine Blood, it says, heroic figures may owe their superhuman powers to some divine connection, descent from or help from a deity which endows them with strength and tenacity. Alternatively, they may have magic weapons or gain powers by obtaining, by gifts or stealing or merit, some divine secret. It may be the ability to speak with or take the form of animals. Nevertheless, their wisdom may give them the role of teacher or lawgiver, bringing to mankind the rulers of society and the arts and skills of civilization. In this function, they may appear as ancestors, founders of a society, and ideal rulers or priests, heroes with the divine blood. This is what the kings and rulers, as I said, have always claimed, that they should be the king and queen of the British Empire. They have a divine right. Nothing is more reprehensible to me as a human than somebody who tells me they have a divine right over me. There ain't nobody had a divine right over me, over me, including my own mother. Nobody has a divine right over me. Heroes with the divine blood, the holy blood, holy grail, Beijing Lee and Lincoln, uh, are all of these different new books which are coming out talking about this uh, hidden agenda of secret societies who pro present themselves to the world as our masters because they have some kind of a secret alliance with a divine bloodline to rule us. And I'm saying to my friends and my fellow countrymen in America, you had better wake up and find out there is no such a thing as a divine right to rule over us. We were created free moral agents. And the only way they can take from you your freedom is if you give it to them in a contract. You give them your freedom by acquiescing to their power. I don't care if they're mafia. I don't care if they're Nazis. I don't care if they're strong arm for the mob you still give in. I have no intentions of giving in to any tyrant, any murderer, any bloodshed murderer who calls himself a divine uh, right to rule. There is no such a thing. I think we better go back and look. I think we're talking about the sons of God and I think there are good ones and bad ones. Right now we've got bad ones ruling us. The divine right of kings, heroes with divine blood. Nothing is more reprehensible to me. Consequently, the Apostle Paul said in Ephesians 6 to Christians, and unfortunately Christians have forgotten this admonishment from the Apostle Paul. Ephesians 6, 12 says, For we, meaning Christians, but all mankind, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, not against ordinary people. We're not wrestling against ordinary, our brothers and sisters, but we are wrestling against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The word in Greek is cosmokrateros. Cosmocrateros in Greek means rulers of world darkness. Cosmocrateros, rulers of world darkness, implying that the entire world is ignorant, ill-informed, and stumbling around in the dark, but that there are entities on this earth who are our, who are our masters who are manipulating our ignorance and stupidity and darkness. They are the cosmocrateros of Greeks. They are the ones that Christians are told to be, aware of, to be aware of and to stand against in these last days. And make no mistake about it, it is my 
believe that we are living in the last and final days of an old order of civilization on the earth and what is coming on this earth is going to be god awful if mankind doesn't get back their own spirituality and say no more will we bow to nazis and fascists and murderers who seek to imprison us on this earth we were created free like the animals we were born free and we will damn so damn well stay free or die in the process because as Hiram Mann the first governor of California said in a great quote no man is free when freedom fails the best men rot in filthy jails while those who cried appease appease are hung by those they tried to please there can be no common cause with tyranny there can be no substitution for your spirituality connecting yourself with the divine principle of freedom and love in the universe and don't ever bow your knee to the cosmocraterists or those who might very well be working behind the scenes to destroy a great creation called the human race. Thank you.